I'm Jim Clark, and welcome to Cavalier Football Weekly, talking with Cavalier head coach Jim Dennison. Jim, we'll start with the football side. Um, finale on Saturday with Finley, a very good football team. But I tell you again, you hung in there, got down early in the ball game, and made a game of it, and really was a good performance. We, uh, we've hung in there against most of the GLIAC teams, and Finley was no exception. We, we really felt that we had uh, a chance to win the football game. And uh, uh, we, we, we went in, uh, we, we had 16 guys on the disabled list, but our kids just, uh, just played hard, and, uh, and they did make a game out of it. And I think it set the tone uh, as, as attitudinally that we can compete in this, in this GLIAC, and next year now the schedule will be, will be completely flipped, but playing the same teams. Third quarter where nobody scores. If you get one score in that third, maybe a different ball game in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and uh, and, and and that that's absolutely right. And, and we had our we had our chances, and uh, j just just couldn't couldn't get the job done when we, when we had to do it in that in that second half. But we but we played hard, and uh, uh, we we did not embarrass ourselves. Line patched up, did a very good job again. Toba Larawazu, broken hand at all, stuck carried that football for a very good afternoon. Well, he, he had over, over 100 yards and, uh, and, and did well. And then that speaks well of the offensive line because it is, it is patched up. And, it, and those kids have played hard, and that's going to help us going to help us in the future. Is there a better receiver than Anthony Shock in this league? I, I don't think so. Uh, there, he, Anthony is, is in the class all by himself, and uh, and I think Daryl Gary uh, has come along very well, too. So we have two exceptional uh, wide receivers. Uh, the defense finishes the year second in the league in scoring and defense. Not bad for a first year program, not program, but first year in this league in the NCAA to rate that high defensively in the GLIAC. No, I, I thought our defense played well uh, uh, all year considering the schedule and all. And, uh, and, and, I'm, and I'm proud of those guys because they, they hung in there too when, when they had to. And, and we have played some high powered offenses. Now we'll change the pace a little bit. Um, <laughs> Sunday, you tell your staff your decision to not come back for next year. Yeah, uh, we, we we met Sunday and, and talked, and then we, we we informed the team on uh, on Monday, and and then uh, uh, re released it right after the team meeting. Uh, I, I thought it was time. It's uh, you, you know we've been in this thing 53 years now, as, as far as a coach and administrator, and uh, and, and uh, Sue and I had talked about this for for the last couple of years, and the record uh, had nothing to do with it. I'm, I'm proud of the way our kids played, but that had nothing to do with this. Uh, uh, we were we were we were going to do it uh, regardless, and and it, we, we can turn this thing over now to someone knowing that we can compete in this league, and that made us feel good too. We, we've had a lot of good times here at uh, at Walsh, and, and with you, uh, you know, from the start. And uh, I'm real proud of the uh, of the time we had as AD. Uh, came in here without a football program, as, as you recall, and uh, uh, established a, a few firsts in the department as, as far as trying to make the program even then. NCAA, and uh, and we did things as an NCAA school, and as Dale Howard has said, I think that made us better prepared to do what we're doing today. Uh, proud of the of the hirings of of, uh, of Jeff uh, Jeff Young and uh, and uh, Carl Smesco, who went right out and won national championships. I'm, when you're an AD, you're proud of things like that, and uh, and and I think just just the things that happened in, in those years. When we were starting football, but yet we kept pace with the other sports too. I'm, I'm proud of that, and we, we didn't have uh, dissension within the staff because of that. And uh, uh, and then and then the football, you know, when you start a program, you go through five, six, seven years of intense losing, <laughs> and that never happened here. And I think one of the reasons we started with a we call it a leadership nucleus uh, in in, uh, in the first year. Uh, 94 before we had football and we 35 kids came in here and helped us get this program started uh, no promises but they helped us get the get the program started and I think it's one of the reasons when we brought in 70 more the next year that we were seven and three that first year and I think one of the most amazing feats is, is to go seven and three when you play a good 10 game schedule there, there were no slouches on that schedule and some of the same teams we played at the end and uh, so I, I'm, I'm real proud, We're proud of the kids that we had here and, and proud of my days at Akron. Many folks still can't believe when they go back to our record books, they look at the first year and they see seven wins. How in the world did you win seven games the first year? But you keep looking and it took a long time before we did not have a winning season. Yeah. Five or six straight years of eight wins, nine wins, the year we went to the playoffs. Um, unheard of, but you've always talked about the unique thing 
of starting a program from ground up. Right. It's, you know, a lot of my coaching friends out there are very envious uh, that, uh, that I was able to do this. Some of the guys have made a lot of money in big time football, too. They said they'd have changed everything in their career if they could have had the opportunity to start a football program like we did. Now, I don't know if I'd do it again. <laughs> it was a lot of work, but, uh, but we're, we're proud of the fact we did. And, you know, it came on, on the heels of being out of football for eight years. And, and maybe that's one of the reasons that we were hungry to get started and we were able to hire a real good staff. Able to bring Tom Flaherty back, I'm sure that was really a big thing for you to be able to get Tom back into the game as well. Well, t Tom has, has been with us uh, every year, and uh, we have always had a Division I experience in our offensive line because of Tom. And, and it, was, uh, it was good to have. One of the toughest things uh, in, in the meeting on, with, with staff on Sunday was telling those guys, because those guys have been here, except for Devin Jordan is his first year, most of them have been here 6 to 15 to 18 years. And that's that's unheard of for a football staff, and, and I'm proud of that that we that we had some continuity in the program, and I hope that can continue. You had so many first Walsh and Akron, um, you back to the days as a zip, first team to play for national championship, first team to win ten games, and what great days those were back in 1976 at the Rubber Bowl. Well, they they were they were great, and uh, uh, we were the last staff to really to really win at, at Akron, and and, I, and I'm proud of that. It was never easy at Akron. Uh, we always played up because we were always moving up to the next division. Uh, but, you know, we, we recruited good area kids, and then we go outside for, for a few special. Um, but uh, we just had some, some good teams, and we drew people out there. You know, when I tell people that we averaged 19,000 uh, our last year there, they don't believe me, but we did. And, and that, to have that 35,000 every the Acme Zip game out there, that was something. And, and uh, I, I remember recruiting, going, going uh, Turkey Day, going out to the to the bowl to the Turkey Day game, and recruiting out there, and boy, that was fun. And uh, you know, we made the, we made the program a community program, and we started the we started out this the philosophy win with PMA philosophy at Akron in 1973, and one of the things I'm most proud of by 1975, most of the high schools had adopted that as their slogan in in the city series, which which meant that some of the things we were doing had to be had to be pretty good. Now you step back now. Um, have you thought about plans? <laughs> well, I'm sure that Sue has thought about plans, <laughs> some way to get me out of the house, probably. But uh, uh, yeah, yeah, we've we've thought about it. But we have a we have a place in Florida, and, and we'll go down there in the winter some, and uh, maybe spend a month or two down there, and come back, and then go back down for maybe a couple of weeks. We're not going to leave Northeast Ohio. We 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 love it here, and. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll find things to do. I'm sure there are going to be some opportunities out there, but you know, I, I want to take this first year, year at least, just to sit back and relax a little bit and see what else there is out there and enjoy uh, the family. You know, uh, you, you might think that's funny because the family's grown, but I, I got some kids out there with grandkids now doing some things, and I want I want to be part of that and see see what's happening there, and especially getting out to Wadsworth and getting down to New Philly and seeing some of those games that, that I've had to miss in, in the last few years. You can go watch two days now with your sons, which you have not been able to do <laughs> I, I, the entire time. I don't know whether they'll appreciate that or not. Uh, but Matt did say the other day, he said, you could go two days two days down at uh, down with us and two days with Greg at Wadsworth. And I just looked at him. I thought, I don't know if I'm going to work this hard. You know, they, they want me to come down to work, you know. <laughs> not surprised. Well, Jim, thanks so much. Um, as you said before, it's been a great ride. It's been great to have you at Walsh University. I, we valued your friendship and your leadership. You've changed this place for the better. And not just with football, just the fact you've been here all these years, always supporting, and we, as I think I can speak for Walsh, we really appreciate it. Well, this is a good place. It, it's a good school. I, I'd never heard too much of Walsh when, when you when invited me down here to look over the, the campus uh, and, and, and meet the people. I was astounded. Uh, I thought, this is something that can grow, and, and it's done that. And that's because of people like you also staying here and, ma and making it positive. Thank you, Jim. Appreciate it. Thank you. Coach Jim Dennison, and that's this week's Football Weekly. I'm Jim Clark.